This is my first time reaction to L6 from the Philippines performing All By Myself, the Celine Dion version of a song originally by Eric Carmen. They're auditioning for America's Got Talent 2024. Let's commence. Hello everyone, hello. Who are you? We are the L6 from the Philippines. We are five siblings and our niece. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So what do you do in the Philippines? We do have uh, a small business selling gowns and clothes in the Philippines. If you did very well and you won a million dollars, what would you do with it? We will buy a big, big house for the family because in the Philippines, we rented a small house. How many people live in the house? Um, we are 10 siblings and my sister has four children. All in one house? Yes, and our dream is to uh, buy a big house so that we we can be comfortable. Yeah. Awesome. What they are dreaming to achieve is just, you know, making everyone comfortable, having enough space for everyone in the home, for the family, just to live without having to worry about too much. They have a dream. They're pushing forward, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how they continue. What, what is the dream? Um, this is our mother's dream our late mother's dream, um, and before she passed away, her dream for us is to perform on America's Get Talent. And this is it now. You know, we're all... Sorry to interrupt there. They're doing it for their mom. Rest in peace to her. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, very emotional. You can hear the emotion in the young man's voice as he's speaking. This is big time. This is big time, and they're going to go for it. For you. That's the lot. Oh, that just sounded so awesome coming in here. The young man, the first one who started singing, there was just this quality to his voice. I don't know, was it raspy or what it was? It just sounded so, there was so much texture to that man. And then he was joined by the second gentleman there. And then the two of them, the interplay, awesome. Just the sounds, fantastic. And they're just kicking us off. Guys, 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 guys. Let me pause right there. You see, the thing is, the lady came in there and she started belting out, you know, the big line all by myself. And she was giving us the vibe and the flavor. And then this heel, this jerk, Simon Cowell interrupted. I mean, look. My thing that I have towards Simon Cowell, relax, Simon Cowell fans. It's not that serious. But there's this thing about the guy that just kind of rubs me the wrong way sometimes. Yes, the man is experienced. Yes, the man has been doing this for many, many decades in this industry. Yes, the man mostly knows what he's talking about. But you know the man's timing is awful. Can I just say that? The man's timing... It's the worst. Freaking Simon Cowell. Boo! Yes, I mean, come on, Simon Cowell. You deserve this sort of thing. Everyone, I want to say something. There are a lot of singing groups. I'm going to do something. Thanks for stating the obvious, Simon Cowell. Yes, there are very many singing groups on this planet of ours. Continue, sir. Continue. I think which I think is going to help you. Lose the track. Okay? Because, in my opinion, the track was terrible. 
and there aren't that many great a cappella groups and I think you've got the potential to be a great a cappella group. Okay, fair enough. You know, I thought he was going to give them some sort of grief here, but what he's saying is that they just have to, you know, get rid of this instrumental, basically. It's like some, you know, weird, meaty vibe. He's basically just, you know, given grief to the instrumental version of this. It's not a live band. So he's saying a cappella vibes. A cappella vibes. So let's see how they continue here. Let's see if he's going to continue to give them a shot. Oh, they keep the tempo. That's gonna be hard for them. Oh my God, it's so nervous. They're starting again. They're starting again, and they're gonna do what Carl said. They're gonna go a cappella style. Now the thing is, if YouTube taught me anything, it taught me that if you're gonna listen to a cappella, you gotta have those earphones. I mean, so come on, we gotta be, we, we gotta get proper for this one. Here we go, I'm ready, let's continue, a cappella style. Um, I never needed anyone And making love was just for fun Those days are gone Man, oh man, the harmonies just sounding oh so fantastic. All of these individuals on stage, incredibly talented young men and women. And they just, you know, man, that sounded fantastic. Coming through these voices, layering over each other so fantastically. The harmonization, the harmonies. It's also harmonious. Are you with me? Keep going. Four of them, they got four yeses from all the judges, ladies and gentlemen. That turned into an epic, epic performance. In my personal opinion, even despite the backing track, I think their talent would have come through and it would have shined through anyway. You know, so Carl wanted it without the music. They went into the a cappella version of it and they absolutely crushed it. You know, they absolutely smashed it with a 150,000 kilogram ton hammer smasher. Are you with me? Are you understanding what I'm saying to you? They absolutely pulled off a stunning performance. They earned the four yeses and they are going through in the competition, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of emotion on that stage. A lot of emotion in the audience as well. Everyone just swept up by, the, by that performance eventually. That was just Filipino magic for you once again. Many, many awesome Philippines artists on my channel that I have checked out before. That is one talented nation when it comes to singing. 
and L6 here, they just stepped up and they delivered once again, ladies and gentlemen. Such a fantastic performance. So composed afterwards. After they were, you know, taken out of their stride. After they were distracted by Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell, I also, just quickly to say, didn't appreciate your whole I told you so vibe that you had going on. Yeah, sure, you were right. But you know what they say about broken clocks. That's the thing, Simon Cowell. It's not about you, Simon Cowell. It's about L6. And it's about them showing their skills vocally on that stage and it's about them absolutely winning over that audience and progressing in this competition that's what it's all about that was fantastic L6 are the Lunteo family from the Philippines. They are seasoned campaigners. I've just checked up on them. They have competed in reality shows before. Back in 2010, the group reached the final in the first ever season of their native Filipinas Got Talent as the Lunteo family, where they placed 10th overall. In 2017, the group competed on the second season of Asia's Got Talent as LF Voices. And in 2023, the group competed on the voice generations in the Philippines as the Lunteo family where they were eliminated in the battle round after having lost their battle against eventual winners vocal mix but here they are again on AGT they're going to get another shot here to make their dreams come true they're going to get another opportunity to go all the way and I think they're going to take it on I loved how they just rolled with what they were given. I loved how they adapted to the situation that played out. They were so emotional, but they just absolutely dealt with it professionally, calmly. They just let, you know, that talent of theirs, that experience of theirs take over, and it guided them through this audition. It was just, it was great stuff. I enjoyed that performance, every second of it. It was compelling, it was awesome, and it just worked for me. That was just utterly awesome. Please let me know in the comment section what their names are. It's difficult to find that specific information. The names that I found on Instagram are Katana, Rods, Red, and Remy. Four of them, you know, their names, but the others are not. So, you know, if you can clarify, help clarify for me in the comment section what their names are, that'd be cool. You know, we want to know what their names are. Their journey has just started on AGT. We want to get to know them better. The family, good luck to them. It's going to be a tough competition. But, you know, like they, like everyone else in this competition, they've got a chance to go all the way. So, all of the best to them. All by myself is a song by American singer-songwriter Eric Carmen, released by Arista in December of 1975 as the first single from Carmen's debut album, Eric Carmen, which came out in 1975. The verse is based on the second movement, Adagio Sostenuto, of Sergei Rachmaninoff. Sergei Rachmaninoff. <laughs> Man, oh man, this is tough. Sergei Rachmaninoff's 1900-1901 Piano Concerto Number no. 2 in C Minor, Opus 18. That was a freaking mouthful, man. Old school stuff, but that's, you know, where the music kind of originated. The chorus was taken from the song Let's Pretend, which Carmen wrote and recorded with the Raspberries in 1972. The slide guitar solo was performed by studio guitarist Hugh McCracken back in the day. This is a soft rock track of note, ladies and gentlemen. It's a track that has, you know, been around for many, many years. But the version that L6 performed here was the version done by Celine Dion. Celine Dion's version is regarded as the most notable cover of the original song and she recorded that one back in 1996. It was the fourth or third, depending on the country, hit single from her fourth English language studio album Falling Into You, which came out in 1996. The track was produced by David Foster at Compass Point Studios in the Bahamas and it was released on December the 9th in 1996. The single became one of Dion's biggest hits in the United States, reaching number one on the hot adult contemporary tracks for three weeks and the latin pop airplay tracks for two weeks ladies and gentlemen so this track was a smash hit for celine dion her version you know is a famous version and that's the one that l6 took on here on stage and they just absolutely made that one work for us in a glorious acapella rendition that was just brilliant
The original songwriter's full name was Eric Howard Carman. He was born on August the 11th in 1949. And unfortunately, he passed away on March the 11th year in 2024. Rest in peace to him as well. He was an American singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist. He was the lead vocalist of the Raspberries, with whom he recorded the hit Go All The Way, and four additional albums. He was born in Cleveland, Ohio in the United States and he performed in the genres of pop rock, power rock and soft rock. He was active from 1967 until he left us here in 2024. L6, the Lunteo family, have yet another opportunity to leave their mark, ladies and gentlemen. They have yet another opportunity to go deep into this competition and compete. And that's what it's all about. It's about the spirit of competition. It's about not letting your dreams wither away. It's about chasing those things that you want and need and, and, and aim for in your life. And it's about achieving it. So it's going to be a journey. It's going to be, it's going to be, hey, it's going to be difficult. But they've got a shot. They've got a chance. And they're going to have to make it count as they continue to move along. I mean, they did so well here tonight. I loved every bit of that performance. I loved their perseverance. I loved that they just kept rolling with it. I loved that they did not back down. I loved that despite their tears and emotion, they just powered through it. And I love that they delivered on this stage, ladies and gentlemen. That was a great performance. When it was all said and done, it was a memorable, awesome, strong, amazing performance. They earned the plaudits. They earned, you know, uh, the, the, all of the appreciation that they got from the judges and the audience. And they absolutely showed what they're all about here. That was an incredible performance by the family. And they just have to keep going forward and keep going strong. L6 rose to the occasion in a wonderful way. That was a masterful performance.